thousands lining the streets of Cork as the final chapter is played out of a 1916 volunteer who'd taken up arms in Cork to resist a roundup of nationalist figures following the Dublin uprising. Thomas Kent, executed by firing squad at the then Victoria Barracks, today receiving full military honours from the Irish Defence Forces at his state funeral and burial in his family church of Castle Lines in County Cork. The President and the Taoiseach joining Thomas Kent's family for a service the congregation was told would offer closure to his family and remembrance to a man of zeal and profound conviction. It writes the final chapter in a long ordeal for the Kent family, as today serves as a moment of closure, as they lay Thomas in his final resting place among his own people and alongside his family. For 90 years, the funeral service heard, Thomas Kent's remains lay behind the walls of a prison, a lonely grave in a lonely place, something his family wished to change. Today, that effort involving exhumation and careful planning culminated in a special service. At his graveside, Taoiseach and Kenny paying tribute on behalf of the nation. In an Irish dawn, a man from these parts of Castle Lyons and sometimes Boston was executed by a firing squad. And today, Ireland comes to reflect on his courage, his dignity, his defiance, and his sacrifice. There followed a soldier's farewell. Right! Panagy! Lock! With shots fired, the last post played and the final prayers delivered at an event that ensured the memory of those who fought and died during the rebellion would endure. Ray Kennedy, RTE News.